In today's video, I'm going to show you how to freeze your columns and rows in Google Sheets Mobile. So freezing your rows and your columns allows you to put your columns and your rows in place. So when you do move or scan your data like so, some information will stay in place. So let's try and freeze our columns first. What we're going to do is to select the column that we want to freeze. So to select the column, what you're going to tap on your screen would be the letters at the top, not just the cell, but the letter indicating the column. This is column A, and this is the one that we're going to freeze. To freeze it, we have to tap it again. And now we have our options of cut, copy, autofill, and clear. We'll see more options with this three dotted line right here. If we tap on it, you'll see at the fourth row freeze. Let's go ahead and tap on that and we have frozen that first column. Now, if we try and swipe to the right, the first column stays in place. So we'll still be able to see which receipt number has a total purchase of this amount. Now, let's say you have more information at the bottom and you want to freeze the row at the top with your headers. So to freeze that, all we have to do now is to select the row, which will be the numbers. So let's tap on the number one right here. That's our first row. Tap on it again, and we'll have the same options. Tap on the three dotted line to see more options. And now on the second row, we have freeze. Tap on that, and there you have it. Now we've frozen our first row and our first column. So if I try and swipe up, you'll see that our header stays in place even though we're swiping our information up and down. And there you have it. So those were the two easy ways on how to freeze your columns and your rows in Google Sheets Mobile. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.